All right, hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, this setup is a lot different compared to my usual one. This is because I'm still in Berlin and still moving from place to place. So the lighting and the sound probably isn't the best. So I'm really sorry about that. But as I said, I'm moving from place to place and I will try to figure it out as soon as I can. In this video, I actually want to talk about my tasks as a social media and community manager because people actually ask me what people do in the games industry. So when it comes to community management, um, one thing is of course very important that is customer service, but customer service is not like the majority of the job. It's only a very small section, uh, which is great because my last customer service job wasn't the best. Um, it was very tough work and I really didn't want to do that again. And like having this small kind of customer service aspect in my current job is perfectly fine because it's so much more fun and I really enjoy doing that. So what you do is answering customer inqu inquiries that can be emails, messages on Discord, on Twitter, Facebook, like these kind of things. So you basically, um, try to help them, try to solve problems and just, you know, offer a good customer service experience. I manage an online game and that means that um, people, of course, when they have issues with this online game, they will come to me and ask for help. So, so for example, if they buy in-game items and for example, these items weren't delivered, they would come to me and I would send them these items. So I also um, do this thing and um, yeah, a majority of my work is creating in-game events. For example, this week we're doing a challenge of the week, which means that you have to play um, for example, team deathmatch and get 10 kills or something like that. So this is just a small example. I host uh, art events and um, video events. So there are so many things you can do. But yeah, this is what I um, what takes most of my time, what I do the most. Because you have to plan in advance, of course, and this um, needs to be done, otherwise it would just be a mess. So this is what I do as a social, uh, as a community manager. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of things to it. And my, another task as a community manager is uh, managing the whole team. I have to tell them what tasks need to be done. I have to create tasks in um, yeah in Jira if anybody knows it and um, yeah I just have to make sure everyone um, does the work to make sure that everything works and everything is done by the end of the day um, so the next aspect is of course social media management and I don't have that much professional experience in social media management but as you know, I've been on YouTube for the past two years and I had to manage my social media stuff here as well. I have to post tweets, um, I have to create Facebook postings. I Just like the events, I have to create a social media plan, a social media strategy to make sure that all social media posts are planned for the next month. I have to make sure that I create postings, I have to schedule them and also make sure that um, yeah, all social media channels are covered. Although we haven't done it in the future, I also have to do streams at work. And like, for example, I also, I already had to like create a video and edit it and all these kind of things. That is also a very small part of what I'm doing. Lastly, there is another thing. Um, I'm doing QA um, a couple times a week, not every day, but very often. Because every time the game is under maintenance, I have to make sure that after the maintenance, all the bugs were fixed, or that new patches work, that new content works, or in general, I have to test new content. Um, so yeah, that is also another thing I'm doing. Um, it's not that difficult. You basically have your list of the things you have to do and then you just do them. If a bug occurs, you just tell the developers and they will make sure to fix it. So um, that is actually very simple. It can be a bit frustrating because it's always the same thing you're doing and it gets so repetitive and at some point you're like, I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> so um, maybe I should go more in detail because some people might not know what QA testing means. So basically I would start the game, create a character, play the tutorial, I play a full match and then, you know, do 
different kind of things in the game. I buy in-game currency, I do this and that, just to make sure that all the major tasks or that all the major functions are working. Yeah, this is actually already it. Um, if you have any questions regarding my work in the games industry, then make sure to um, write a comment down below. I would really appreciate that. I will, uh, of course, answer all your questions. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you a short insight into my work as a community and social media manager and as well QA tester. So there are a lot of different tasks and I think that is very common in the games industry. You just help wherever help is needed. And yeah, this is it. Thank you guys and we will see each other in the next one. Bye!